Okay, folks, we are going to keep it really simple this afternoon. We are just going to fish a big drain, big channel, and we're going to fish two and a half inch slim swims, keep it nice and simple, and going to fish it on a few different jig heads. So I'm going to start out throwing it on a quarter 1.0 headlocks finesse because the tide's up. As the tide drops out, I've got a Ned Rig set up. So I've got a one tenth ounce in a EWG weedless for in amongst the weed and a Ned Locks one tenth ounce just in the standard for fishing along the edges and weed edges. So see how we go. We're probably going to get rained on by the look of it, but you know, it's worth being out here to have a flick. So fingers crossed we can find, you know, maybe a, a couple of flatties and a couple of brim for a quick Arvo session. I haven't fished here for a long while where I'm fishing, so that's why I'm straight on with the two and a half inch slim swims. You know, I know it, I trust it. So I'm sticking with what I know a little bit and I'm running it on that quarter 1.0 because I can fish that from almost no water down to a few meters of water, which I'll, I'll probably come across through here. And um, then I'll get those lighter heads going right up in the shallows when the tide drops out. I'm keeping an eye out as I do normally for bait and for structure and hopefully we can find a bit of bait, find a bit of structure and find ourselves a couple of fish. Sean from Outcast Angle where he was out fishing this afternoon as well. So I'd say we'll bump into him at some point in time. Hopefully he finds a fish as well. That was a bit of a little touch then. What's going on there? What are you? Are you a little pike or are you fish? Amazing. Oh, there we go. Fish on. What are you? Oh, a little bit of weight. Oh, come on, buddy. What are you? He hit that pretty solid. Not real happy. That was just the slim swims on the quarter ounce 1 0. He's playing up a bit, might be a little treble or something. Are you a brimbo? What are you? Oh, come on. What are you? That is a tailor. You beauty, we don't want a couple of tailor. Oh, come on, buddy. Feels like a decent fish, too. Come here, mate. That is a nice tailor on light gear. Now, that was good fun. Nice tailor on the slim swims, pinned in the corner of the jaw on that headlock's finesse. Beautiful. Let's put the grips on him and see what he measures in it. Don't mind to feed a tailor. You can see a bit of bait fish he spat out in there as well. He's we're matching the hatch with that little bait fish. These guys love a feed of bait fish. Come on, buddy. Open your grub. All right. Let's put him on the measure. Good fun. Wouldn't mind catching a few tailor. They're always a welcome catch for the fight and also for the feed if they're legal. Here's a nice 41 centimeter tailor. So that is a nice tailor. I'm going to put him in the box for dinner. First thing I'm going to do is bleed him. So I'm going to bust his throat and bleed him a little bit and then put him into the ice box. Beautiful, great start to the session. All right, folks, what you can see here is I've deployed the anchor and I've used the anchor running rig to run the anchor to the front of the kayak. That way the current is coming back here and I can throw casts around here. You may be able to see a weed edge here. I'm sitting in about one and a half meters of water, but I'm gonna be fishing one and a half meters through to almost nothing as I hit that weed edge. And the hope is that in amongst this weed edge, there's a flatty or two. 
So by anchoring, I can cover the area a lot more effectively and not just disappear with the wind and the tide. So I'm going to fish this area fairly thoroughly, then I'm going to pull the anchor up and I'm going to drift further along the bank. And then I'm going to continue just working my way along the bank, anchoring, fishing, anchoring, fishing. Just keep moving my way along and that way I'm covering this beautiful edge as thoroughly as I can. We look like we've got some rain coming though, so might have to put the windscreen wipers on so that you guys can keep fishing along with me to the day. I've come out now because it looks like there's a little bit of a gap in the rain for a while, so we might get some little patchy showers, but I don't think we're going to get uh, flogged too bad, famous last words. Fingers crossed. So I find the rain's good. You know that tailor that I got straight up? The overcast, fish like that overcast sort of weather bit of ripple on the water you know not so bright and visible gives them a little bit of cover so hopefully that works in our favor this afternoon so what I can do here I can use my quarter 1-0 to punch some longer casts and cover a fair bit of ground and then if I want to I can grab either that Nedlocks or the Nedlocks EWG the weedless Nedlocks punch it up into that weed a little bit further if I want to but, you know, as long as we just keep working away on this edge, we're going to come across some fish, that's for sure. Systematic, that's what we're being. Systematic fishing. So you'll see with my casting here, I'm out on the edge and covering our way right in there so that I'm, you know, giving it a fair chance, covering all that area to see if we can find a fish in there. And hopefully we can. Oh, was that a touch or was that the bottom? What were you? Oh yeah, that's a fish. Yep, yep, there we go. You know, we've done our we've done our work here. It's a little floaty. He's not gonna make the grade, but good fun. You know, we we called it. Anchor up, work this edge, persist, just keep working our way along the edge. And the fish will be gonna be holding here, especially with that dropping tide, so that's just a bit that's just a teaser i reckon a little flatty so that's our first flatty in the yak i reckon there'll be a few more of them along here but that's that's a start might punch him just right back in where i've got that guy because i've got another hit as well so may not have been him and there might be a few fish holding just in that little pocket there i can hear the rain on my raincoat so i'm guessing our vision is gradually getting impaired. What I can do is I can turn, not ideal, but I can spin the anchor running rig around and face the other way if we need to, especially once that current drops out a little. I think that's outcast angler, Sean Beckers, straight up there drifting down in his yak. Oh, yep, there's another one. What are you? Another little flatty. He looks a smidge smaller than the last one, I think. But that's a good sign. Two off this edge pretty quickly. Little two and a half inch swim swims. Flatty, when it's like this and the water is flowing over that edge, it's hard for a flatty to resist a, a lure bouncing across with the tide. Either way. So, if you can, it's ideal to bring your lure back with the tide in this situation. If you're drifting along, it doesn't matter so much, but we'll just keep punching them up into this little pocket it looks really good there's weed coming out there there's weed running down here and we're down into about 1.5 meters so i also saw a little bit of bait on the sounder as i paddled back up along this edge so there might be a bit of food for them here as well which is a good sign two little ones pretty quick time have they got any big mates with them <laughs> that's the question the two and a half inch slim swims, one of my favorite presentations because that underhooked paddle tail just provides tons of action. So I don't think you can fish it in a wrong way, you know. You can wind it slowly, you can wind it a bit quicker, you can burn and kill, you can hop it, you can shake it, you can, yeah, it doesn't matter what you do, that tail is doing the work for you. So it's definitely, I love it, you know, brim eat it, trevally eat it, flathead eat it, grunter, all sorts of species will eat it. So it's just a great all round presentation for the estuary also deadly in the fresh water don't you go out in the rain 
fish no more on their own. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, what are you? You got some weight. That drilled it on the paws. Might be a nice flat fish. Oh, he's just woken up. Oh, he's just woken up. That was in that little, oh, off. That was in that drain. What happened there? Didn't quite get a good hook set on him. Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful looking edge there. Thought there'd be a fish in there and there was. Awesome. What are you, buddy? Flatfish, only a little fella. On the Ned Rig. That's a Slimmer Swimmer. On a 1 10th ounce orange Ned Locks. Yeah, he's not, not illegal. He's only a little tucker, but took that nicely. Beautiful. You can see that orange head. Bright. And they won't miss that on the bottom, that's for sure. Settle down, buddy. Get hold of that jig head. We'll pop him out. Only a little tucker, but good fun. Light gear. He's away. He's chewed my leader a little bit, so I'm going to trim that up and replace that leader. Chewed up my leader a bit, that one, so a quick re rig rather than risk losing a good fish. Just tying a locked bod knot. Lubricate the knot. Alright, we're ready to go again. And a few little fellas. It's got to be a big one out there and amongst them, I reckon. Get a bit of a scent on him. We've drifted out a little off the edge, so I want to just push back into the edge a little there. solid yeah that hit it nicely you can see there I changed I was casting up onto the edge I changed my angle there and I cast along the edge in that magic meter of water beautiful lizard another nice little fish So that was on our Ned Rig. So that's the one tenth ounce orange Ned Locks. Two and a half inch Slim Swims. Rig Ned Rig style. He scoffed that as well. Certainly got that down. Only another little tacker. Might go, might just make the mark. So he's about a 43 centimetre fish. Nice eating size fish. Generally we only keep keep one for a feed. So this fella might be a one for a feed. 40, 42, 43 centimetre fish. Definitely not a monster, but for Sherry and I that's a good that's a good feed. With some salad and that sort of thing. So that one will come home for dinner. And then we'll let a few go. Beautiful. <laughs> Plenty of mullet in here. I'll try one up along the edge a bit. I pushed up a little bit too far now.
Yep, yep. Had to be a fish in amongst these mullet. <laughs> no pocket rocket. Drilled it. Certainly clocking some numbers up. Plenty of flooded classic five pointers. Still waiting for that big fish. Absolutely nailed that little Ned Rig. Ned Rig, this is a perfect environment for the Ned Rig. You know, half a metre to a metre of water, broken weed, not a lot of flow. Keep spraying those casts around, so we're just going to keep fanning the edges along this bank. It's all good water. Tops out at about two metres, up into nothing, all good flowy water. Some bait clicking down here. Yep. Twitch, twitch, and that guy just drilled it. You can see I'm fishing on the outside of the yak there. Now, all good water, all shallow water, so it doesn't really matter whether you're casting to the bank or out a little. I just span my cast around and find the flatfish. Settle down, buddy. They're scoffing it a bit better now. He's got it right in there. Sit down, mate. Alright, we'll get you off. I'll just change back to that quarter one -oh. Just fishing out off the edge a little. Another little pocket rocket. Plenty of little fellas in here. Good healthy little drain. I can see a beautifully defined weed edge right there. Got to be a flatty in there. Yep, oh, yep, there he is. That was perfect and beautiful, just absolute definition of dark weed line and sandy patch. And the fish was sitting exactly where I'd expect him to be sitting. Only a little tacker again, but nice to make the call make the cast and get the fish that's for sure it's just looks so good I would have been disappointed if there wasn't a fish sitting on there little fellas is galore it's got to be a big fella in there somewhere I still don't I don't mind catching these little fellas good fun as long as they don't spike you <laughs> Use those fins to protect me from the spikes. Another one back in the water. Got an amazing slow drift along this edge, allowing me to come to plenty of water. That's a cranky one. Only another little tiny fella. This is brilliant. I mean, this is a healthy. This is a healthy sign. I don't mind catching these little guys. Just, I need to fix up my leader. I've chewed my leader up a bit now. Just keep an eye on your leader, especially when you're catching little guys like this, because you tend to process them quickly, like just tick and flick and get them off. But you've got to keep an eye on that leader because before you know it. You hook that big one and your leader's half shot already and I find once it's once they start to chew your leader, it chews a lot quicker and a lot easier. So just keep an eye on that leader.
who out there is riding it with me who thinks there's a big one you know we we pumped through a few small ones just get the feeling we've got to hit that big one eventually great science healthy little system School of little ones though. It's a good saw one. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Let's find the fire. Bit of bait just back. I'm gonna go back a smidge. There's a fair bit of bait kicking back there. Just there. Always keep an eye out for bait. And I always flick to it if I see bait flicking. Especially if it looks like it's getting hassled by a fish. No. Nope. Alright, let's keep pushing. There's one. <laughs> that feels a bit heavier. What's your story? Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Look at that thing. Don't bite me off, buddy. He scoffed it. Oh yeah, that's a healthy lizard. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. That's a healthy lizard. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't bust me off. I'm going to let you go anyway. Come on, here. That was a great take. Big chopping take. Boom. Now it's on the top and it's cranky. It doesn't like to, like to look at me. It's loving the shallow water. Good thing with bit, like decent fish like this guy in this shallow water, there's only one way for him to go, and that's sideways. So you can guarantee there's going to be a fair battle on. And that is a, that's a beautiful fish. Come on, I don't want to muck around here with you. Let's get you in and get you get back out again. Outcast angler in the background. He landed a nice one earlier. Mid-60s, sort of up to 70. This one's probably not that big, but still a nice fish. Oh, she doesn't want to go on the net either. Come on. Yep, gotcha, gotcha. That is a big, heavy fish. That's a beautiful fish. Man, I'm stoked with that one. You know, we were talking earlier about the rain and we came out in the rain, you know, battle the rain. Definitely worth it, worth the effort. Otherwise I would have been sitting at home frustrated with the weather. Instead, snuck out. Landed this big girl. Wouldn't have got her sitting at home on the couch. That's beautiful. Oh, settle down, settle down, settle down. Oh, you know, we're, th we're throwing that Slim Swims bait fish profile. There's a bait fish profile for you. Just coughed up a nice hardy head. Have a look at that. That's a, that's a, whoa, whoa, settle down. Don't want to hurt you. Big girl. That's a healthy fish. That is a nice looking fish. Let's put you on the measure, give an approximate measurement and send you on your way. 40 to there. Yep, that's a stubby of 60. Anything over sort of 55, I generally let go. So that's a beautiful fish. That's a 60 centimetre fish. Get that lure out. Ah, an absolute favourite lure, you know. Quarter 1 0. That's a finesse head, but we're fishing a light drag, so no stress. And that is a beautiful 60 centimetre flatty. Oh, settle down, settle down. We're sending you back now. Get that lure off you. 60 centimetre flatty. Let's swim you. Oh, she's away. <laughs> Epic battle on the grip, so I didn't want to hold her any longer. That is, that's cool. So, you know, we were just talking about it. I asked who was riding with me on that one. You know, I asked you the question, who's with me? There's a big one around here. I'm sure a few of you were going, yep, I reckon there's a big one in there. We just got it. Bang, high five. Love it. How good is fishing? That is brilliant. Let's check our leader. Whew, pumped.
Sean got a Sean got a nice one earlier out cast angler. Here he is coming back over. He got a nice one earlier, so I'm stoked. Stoked to get my turn. Don't catch them on the couch at home. Yo! <laughs> 60. Yeah, just then. Yeah, it was cool. I was yeah, I was stoked, mate. I'd I just said to the folks at home, you know, where we've been banging a few little ones. Who's with me? Who thinks there's a good one here? Oh, it's gotta be a good one. And there was yeah, it was a good one. So that was I was stoked. Especially after you getting yours earlier, I thought oh, what a yeah. be a great arvo, hey, what a session. Nice work, man. Yeah, I'm pumped, eh? Hey? Coming in hot, hang on. <laughs> Coming in off tap. <laughs> Coming in off tap, yeah. Oh, oh, where are you going? It's like you're in the shipping lane, mate. <laughs> yeah, work. stoked, eh? Stoked, super pumped. Was bait popping up right under you. Oh, that fish coughed up a beautiful hardy head, eh? Like, oh, yeah. Coughed up a little bait fish, so that was brilliant, but. Well, it's another newsletter segment, so. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Directly below me, that little tucker. <laughs> Just hit that critter and lifted him from the bottom. Pocket rockets. It's nice to see like a lot of real small ones, like healthy. Yeah. See you, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's nice to get out. That rain, watching that rain, I was like. I think we're clear. I think we're clear. Yeah, <laughs> and we've only got one little, like one or two little patches, eh? Yeah. There was, there was one bit there I put my jacket on, but oh, this could be it. It might, won't be enough to, to stop me, but. Yep. Might be oh, yeah. There was bait flicking there. That guy was sitting in with that bait. <laughs> oh! No, nah, only. only not a big one, but just, man, they're angry. You've got hero drag on. Yeah. <laughs> Get here. <laughs> he was being a knob, that one. I just grabbed the leader. <laughs> uh, he's still fired up, eh? He's still a bit green. Thinks he's a rocket ship. Come on, buddy. You're all right, mate. Good fun. See you, mate. They're pulling hard, eh? They're fired up. Two meters of water here. Crazy, eh? I reckon I can catch a trevally. Yep. I didn't even, um, I just cast that, sat the rod down, fixed up my buff, picked it up, caught the Trevally. You're killing me. <laughs> really? Nah, probably a flatfish, eh? Nah, no, it's silver. <laughs> yeah. Some, someone may have been here once before. <laughs> oh, no. What is that a tailor or is that a mullet? Nah, it must be a tailor. That'd be alright if there's a school of tailors sitting in here. Yeah. Oh, come on, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> I got a, I got a slibby on there in motor oil. Yeah. Oh, no wonder he's jagged in the chin. That's why he went off. <laughs> the only problem I've got now is that his teeth are exposed. Yeah, yeah. Free to bite me. No, the only problem I've got is I think he might go legal. But I've got to bleed him in this two meters of water where the bull sharks live. Yeah, he's alright.